North of Boston by Robert Frost is a collection of poems that delves into the intricacies of rural life and human nature. This collection, published in 1914, is notable for its exploration of the New England landscape and the complex characters that inhabit it. Frost's poems are marked by their narrative style, blank verse, and use of colloquial language, which together create a vivid and accessible portrayal of the region and its people. One of the most striking aspects of North of Boston is Frost's ability to capture the voices of his characters with authenticity and empathy. In poems like The Death of the Hired Man, Frost presents a dramatic dialogue between a husband and wife discussing the return of an old, sick laborer, Silas, to their farm. The poem reveals deep insights into themes of duty, compassion, and the harsh realities of life and death. The character's speech is rendered with such realism that readers feel they are eavesdropping on a private conversation, making the emotional stakes of the poem all the more palpable. Frost's use of blank verse is another key feature of North of Boston. This unrhymed iambic pentameter lends a natural rhythm to the poems, echoing the cadences of everyday speech. In Mending Wall, for instance, the rhythmic quality of the verse complements the physical labor of repairing a stone wall. The poem begins with the memorable line, Something there is that doesn't love a wall, and unfolds as a meditation on boundaries and human relationships. Through the act of mending the wall, Frost explores themes of tradition, communication, and isolation, ultimately questioning the necessity of the barriers we build between ourselves and others. Nature plays a significant role in North of Boston, serving not just as a backdrop but as a dynamic force that shapes the lives of the characters. In After Apple Picking, the changing seasons and the act of harvesting apples become metaphors for the cycles of life and the passage of time. The poem's dreamy, reflective tone is enhanced by Frost's rich imagery and sensory details, as the speaker contemplates his exhaustion and the fleeting nature of human endeavors. Frost's depiction of the New England landscape is both precise and evocative, grounding his philosophical musings in the tangible world. The themes of isolation and human connection are pervasive throughout the collection. In The Woodpile, the speaker encounters an abandoned woodpile in the woods, symbolizing the remnants of human effort and the passage of time. The poem reflects on the impermanence of human achievements and the solitary nature of existence. Similarly, Home Burial portrays a couple grappling with grief and miscommunication after the death of their child. The intense emotional conflict and the character's inability to connect underscore the poem's exploration of loss and the barriers that can arise in relationships. Frost's portrayal of rural life is unflinching, often highlighting the struggles and hardships faced by his characters. However, there is also a deep sense of respect for their resilience and the dignity of their labor. In The Black Cottage, the speaker reflects on the life of a deceased woman who maintained her beliefs and traditions despite the changes happening around her. The poem serves as a tribute to the enduring spirit of individuals who hold steadfast to their values. North of Boston is a masterful examination of the human condition, set against the backdrop of the New England countryside. Frost's ability to blend narrative and verse, his use of authentic dialogue, and his keen observations of nature and humanity create a collection that is both timeless and deeply rooted in its regional setting. The poems invite readers to reflect on their own lives and relationships, offering a profound and often poignant exploration of the themes that define our existence. Frost's work in this collection remains a testament to his skill as a poet and his profound understanding of the world around him.